Hey guys, from time to time, if I eat too much pizza or drink too much coffee, I get heartburn. And chances are you've experienced this at some point in your life too. Now, heartburn is caused when the acids inside of your stomach go up into your esophagus, uh, which is the tube that connects your stomach to your mouth, and this doesn't feel too great. And antacids, like these Tums, well, these are the generic kind, but they're all the same thing, work to stop this. And there's some pretty interesting chemistry behind how they work. These things are made up of calcium carbonate, which is basically just chalk, and it works as a pH buffer. So let's see it in action. So in this beaker, I have some water with some pH indicator in it, along with some ice just to help slow down the reaction so it's a bit easier to see. And the green color right now indicates it has a neutral pH of 7, but if I take some of this 35% hydrochloric acid and just add a few drops, we see that it becomes red indicating a very low pH. This is probably about a little bit lower than what you find in your stomach, which has a pH of about two or three. However, if I take some of this antacid, which this is just calcium carbonate in liquid form, so everything dissolves a bit easier, we can see the pH goes back up. So we'll add a bit, and a little more. Turn up the old mixer. All right. All right, so as we can see, we're back to a pretty neutral pH. And if we add more acid, which kind of simulates the stomach uh, digesting food and producing more acid, as you can see, it'll turn red again, but very quickly, it'll turn back to its original greenish color. And uh, what really makes buffers different from just putting in any old base is that we can do it several times. So we'll add another drop, color changes, and then after a little bit, goes back to what it was before. We can add another drop, same thing. And uh, you can do this several times until you reach what's known as the buffering capacity. Um, and then from there, it'll start getting more acidic. So now let's talk about what makes buffers so unique in doing this. Typically in chemistry, we think of reactions as only going one way. So for example, hydrochloric acid breaks up into H plus and CO minus. However, these reactions are all reversible and can go both ways. So H plus and CO minus can form hydrochloric acid with enough energy. And in chemistry, a reaction is in equilibrium when both the forward and reverse reactions are happening at the same rate. So they kind of cancel each other out and there's no change in the amounts of substances on either side. So we think that nothing is happening, but this really isn't the case. Every buffer is made up of a weak acid and its conjugate base, which is the leftover part of the acid once it breaks up. To start simply, we can call our weak acid HA, which will break up into H plus and A minus, which is that conjugate base. And right now we can imagine this reaction is in equilibrium. However, by increasing H plus concentration, which uh, simulates adding acid, we shift the equilibrium of the reaction to the left, making more of that weak acid, which then raises the pH. Now I know this might sound a little counterintuitive that making more acid increases the pH, but you gotta remember that pH is based on free hydrogen ions, so weak acids that are still together won't affect pH. So by essentially taking those free hydrogen ions out of the solution to make the weak acid, pH goes up. And buffers also resist changes in the opposite direction from bases as those weak acids neutralize them. So now let's talk about calcium carbonate and how it's a buffer. So stuff will break up into Ca plus two and CO3 minus two, also known as carbonate. And this carbonate ion is the conjugate base of bicarbonate as seen in this equilibrium reaction. So you can imagine that carbonate just sort of chilling in equilibrium in your stomach. However, once the stomach digests foods and produces more acid, the concentration of H plus goes up and this shifts the equilibrium of the reaction in the opposite direction, making more HCO3 minus or bicarbonate. But what makes calcium carbonate an especially good buffer is that it can go one step further 
and that bicarbonate can also act as a conjugate base for carbonic acid. And this means that every carbonate ion can potentially take care of two hydrogen ions. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video and learning how these antacids work, then please leave a like or subscribe. Thanks.